Well, first of all, good afternoon. Again, my name is Javier Rodriguez. I'm very excited to be with you here today to share with you two things. I'm going to fly through this, so forgive me for going through this so fast. I'm not going to take much more of your time. First of all, we are here and approved, fully approved with Cal Sturge. We're also fully approved with the LA Unified School District as 403B advisors. And all we're here to give you are the seven keys to help you maximize your retirement. And I'll get into that in just one second. We also have part of the reason she's here is because we do have a nonprofit organization that focuses on helping kids give them a, a, a legitimate shot at achieving the future that they deserve. And we do anything from Thanksgiving dinner giveaways throughout the LAUSD, and I mean everywhere, to the sports equipment giveaways that we do throughout, again, LAUSD and Southern California. We go everywhere. We do the Christmas wish list, but we have the principals dominate three to five kids going through any kind of hardship during the Christmas season. And we just simply sponsor whatever it is that they put on their wish list as a way of giving back to ch uh, children in need that are going through things that no adult, let alone, let alone a child, should ever go through. And backpack giveaway, school supplies giveaway. Our favorite campaign is the Life Changer of the Month Award. And so what this simply represents is the principal, again, nominates a teacher that's going above and beyond. And we recognize that teacher as the actual Life Changer of the Month. Give them a certificate, a plaque, we give them a tablet, and a trip. Also, just as a way of thank you for all that you do with the children. This is not something that's... <laughs> this, is, this, is, this is our first time here in his defense. This is our first event here. We usually don't come this far, uh, but we are going to be coming back here in the fall to do this for you as well. And like I said, this is all we do throughout the LAUSD. Oh, you know? Yes. And so, again, we do this. We do this throughout the LAUSD in Southern California as, as well because I think that you guys have one of the hardest but yet most important jobs there are out there as well. And so this is part of a nonprofit, personal. It's not uh, company sponsored. There's no corporate money. It's just the big boss in the back of my wife giving me permission to spend the money and all these things. So I wanted to thank her publicly for all that she does to help the kids out as well. So thank you very much. Now, on to why I'm here to talk to you about your retirement. Seven keys to maximize your retirement. I'm going to go through this very, very quickly. If anything here speaks to you, and I'm sure something will speak to you, just fill out the information card before you. Before I get started, I just want to make sure I'm in the right room. How many people here would like to retire someday? Anybody? <laughs> and, when, and, and, and when you retire, how many people here would actually like to stay retired? That's the hard part. You know, most people retire. Most people nowadays retire on a Friday and start their new career on a Monday, which is fine if that's what the game plan calls for. But, man, there's a lot of people who just like to retire and have nothing to do with anything other than what floats your boat. Does that make sense? And we're able to help you do just that. So let's get into this real quick. Everything I'm going to share with you here today comes directly from the Cal, uh, Calster's Handbook. And so if you don't have or you haven't reviewed your Cal, uh, Calster's Handbook, we're going to give you a free copy at the end. You can just go to the website and download it, or we can just email it to you in an automated fashion through one of our bots that's going to send it to you. Please, this is your future, not just your future, but your family's future. So retirement is such an important aspect of your life, yet more people spend more time planning out their vacation than they do their retirement. And when it comes to retirement, just remember one thing. You only get one shot at it to get it right. One opportunity. So you better do your due diligence when it comes to that. Number one is to know your expected pension amount. Most teachers have no clue what they're going to get when Cal Sturz makes it super simple for you to know exactly how much you're going to get based on a few factors. Here we have Jane, who's 31 years old, wants to retire when she's 60. That'll give, you, that'll give her 29 years of service. Her age factor is 2%. We multiply the years of service times the age factor or 2%, which gives us 58%. That's her factor for her pension. So all of you here should know what your factor is going to be, and we can help you determine that even via Zoom as well. You can log on to CalSTRS, click on right there, put in some basic information, or we can help do it for you so that you can at least know where you stand. Number two is that you need to understand and appreciate your income gap. Now, how many people here know that when you retire, you're going to have an income gap? Now, most teachers have a hard time surviving off 100% of their pay, uh, their paycheck, right? Now, imagine living off on just a portion of it. Makes it very difficult. So, let's go back to Jane, 31. She wants to retire when she's 60. Highest average salary was 90000 for her. 58% was her uh, payout factor. Remember that? That means she's going to get around 52000 a year or... $4,350 $4, a month. Now, how many people here can maintain their standard of living right now with only $4,300 a month? So, is that adequate for today? 
That's the second question. Is this adequate for today? For most people, the answer is, of course not. But what haven't we accounted for? Taxes. How much of your pension is taxable? The whole thing. The whole thing. Ordinary income. Now, if it's not adequate enough for you today, imagine in 10 years. What if you got another 15 years to go? It's going to be very, very challenging. So when it comes to retirement, you have to know exactly how much of that slice of the pie you need to make up and how you're going to make it up. Let me show you. At the top is 100% of the income you're used to receiving today. Now, we determined already that this person is going to get only 58%. 58% is just simply not a lot. And so, therefore, the pension is going to cover the first portion. But how are, it's also taxable because Uncle Scam, I mean, Uncle Sam is going to want his fair the share of your income even though you're retired. Does that make sense? So you're going to have a tremendous gap to account for. Now, usually we make that gap up by things like the 403Bs, 401Ks, IRAs, and so on. The challenge with that is that those run out after just a few short years because you're depleting them. You will never outlive your pension. But your 403B, I'll give you a quick, simple example. If you have $100,000 in your 403B, which is good, that's more than the average teacher has, 100000 and you take out 50000 a year, you still have to pay taxes. So out of the 50, you might be left with 40. But here's the problem. How many times can you take 50000 out of 100000 Two years, and you're down to just the pension. The strategies we teach teachers revolve around generating something that can provide you with a stream of tax-free income that does not outlive you. And most teachers don't even know they have that option available until it's too late. The district gives you that option, but you have to take it up. You have to learn about it, and you have to implement it as well. And so the number one thing teachers want to know, how can I generate the type of income that parallels my pension, that I never have to worry about it running out? And you have that option, which we'll show it to you here in just a little bit. Number three, you have to maximize tax-free income in retirement. Why? Because like I just told you, 100%, this is, again, directly from the CalSTRS handbook, 100% of your pension is taxable. And then you take another taxable source of income, which is, of course, your 403B. And what does that do? It increases your taxable income, which is simply incredible. And then, God forbid, you retire young and you get another job. Guess what? That income is now taxable. So you find yourself with the most taxable income you've ever had with the least number of write-ups you've ever had. Because the kids are grown. They might still live at home and eat your food, right? That's just the reality. But you can't write them off anymore. You cannot write off school supplies you don't no longer use out of your, or buy out of your own pocket. And so that's why tax-free income is crucial. There's only two ways to do that. Number one, a Roth product. LUSC is the only school that does not offer the Roth 403B. I don't know why. It's the only one. So you have to have either a Roth IRA, it's a bit very powerful, or there are life insurance products that are treated the exact same way that are tax-free as well. Number four, lock in life insurance while you have the money and you have the health the life insurance the district gives you what happens to it when you retire stays behind 100 percent of it so you find yourself only with whatever you bought on the open market directly yourself there are the types of life insurance out there that you can literally pay while you work when you retire you no longer pay into it but the death benefit the protection continues until you die and so to say that well i cannot afford it in retirement yeah you can because you're not paying for it that's pretty powerful. Now, why do we bring up life insurance? For a couple of reasons. Number one, it gives you the peace of mind that if you have a family or somebody banking on you, you want to take care of them. You never know what life can throw at you. Number two, I just told you, it's the only other way to save for tax-free income, which we'll show you how to do that as well. And then the third and very important reason is this. Number five, when you retire and you're getting close to, I was out of school, Evergreen Elementary, and then we were at Nelly uh, last week, Nelly, I had never been there, West LA. And there was a teacher who was about to retire right there. And she was saying, I had no clue I was going to have to choose this. When you're getting close to retirement, you're going to have to plan for your survivorship option today. So what does that mean? CalSTRS is going to give you the opportunity to leave your pension after you die to somebody else you love. It doesn't have to be a spouse, by the way. But the choice they're going to give you revolves around this. Do you want to leave them 100% of your pension? If you do that, you get less money while you're alive. Does that make sense? Leave them 75%, you get a little more. Or if you leave them just half of your pension, that's what gives you the most while you're alive. Cal Sturz in the handbook tells you, why don't you take 100%, the full pension on your own right now, 
and buy a permanent life insurance policy so that when you do die, you leave them tax-free life insurance money that will be more than any money you would have left in a pension. Does that make sense? But yet, a lot of people don't even know how to go about that. And that's what we can teach you as well. Number six, we're almost there. I have one more to go. Is you have to diversify or better yet eliminate stock market risk and uncertainty. Right now, we're in the process of a downturn. Let's just call it that. I'm not here to, for a dire type of a forecast, but we're not doing too hot. I'm in the business and I'm telling you that. Unfortunately, there's a lot of teachers that are in the red zone of retirement, 10, five years away. That if that 4-3-B market goes down, the stock goes down, it takes your money with it. Does that make sense? You don't have 10 to 12 years to recover it like a lot of people had to wait the last time this happened. So why would you risk your money when you can least afford to do so? There are LAUSD gives you what are called indexed options. An index option is simple. It simply says that your money is in a fixed account. When the stock market goes up, your balance goes up. But when the market drops, you level off. You're not making money during all that time period, but most importantly, what? You're not losing money, and yet everybody is in this just because they don't even know how to get out of it, and that's what we can help you as well. And lastly, number seven, you have to leverage the power of living benefits. Nothing is wiping out retirees' purchasing power than medical expenses today, even with health insurance, because there are so many things now that health insurance does not cover care, at-home care, your independence, therapy, stuff like that. There are products nowadays that, again, the district makes available to you. They're called right here, living benefits. Going back to that life insurance, let's just say you have, by rule of thumb, you should have five to 10 times your annual income in life insurance. Does that make sense? So let's just say you have a life insurance policy of half a million, permanent life insurance at that. If anything happens to you, a heart attack, stroke, cancer, Lou Gehrig's disease, blindness, the things that will happen to 75% of the people as we age, 75% chance of it happening, you can actually choose to advance yourself, your life insurance, while you're still alive. Isn't that cool? So you get cancer, you get a stroke, you have half a million of life insurance, they'll give you 200000 tax-free. Here you go, right now, to help you through this phase. But when you die Sunday, they'll take the 200000 from the 500000 for your family. So they get the 300000 because you got the rest while you were alive. That's pretty powerful. You could do that. And lastly, all the money you save in here can be used to help you qualify for to purchase a home, send your kids to college. It doesn't count against you when it comes to financial aid, which is very important. So it's not just about retirement, life insurance, you. It's about your overall financial well-being and that of your family as well. That's it. I just want to just ask you, if you want to consider life insurance that you don't have to die to use, indicate that in the actual appointment card that's before you all we ask is that you, re you be very clearly uh, or print it write down a date and time we are going to have people here in the neighborhood so we can see you here via zoom in person before school after school whatever works for you it takes around 20 minutes nothing is sold that's the one thing i guarantee you there's no obligation to do anything but it's amazing what an eye-opening experience it is for most teachers who have never gone through something like this even if it's via Zoom. Now, the last thing I just want to also let you know is that we will send you, when you make an appointment, we enter it into the system, and then the bots send you an email automatically with the Cal Stirs handbook for 2022. The 2023 hasn't come out yet, 2022 version, so that at least you can have something for you to look at as well. Again, nothing is sold. There's no cost for our services. There's no hourly retainer or anything like that. But this is something that I will tell you that of all the teachers, we have helped transition from their working years to their retirement years we have never ever ever had one teacher say you know what i screwed up i saved too much money i mean nobody has ever said that it's always what should have saved something means a lot of people save nothing should have saved more should have started younger the point is that if you're sitting in this room there's plenty of time for you Plenty of time for you as long as you at least assess where you stand today. Does that make sense? Now, we do have a special bonus. For those that make an appointment, before I leave, we're going to do a quick raffle. We have two things. Number one is a Starbucks card. I know all of you probably need coffee. So we're going to give you a $20 gift card. And then we're going to have a second raffle for four days, three nights in Las Vegas. 
So I don't know if anybody likes Vegas. I think Vegas is, I think Vegas is a lot of fun. But let me tell you something. It's more fun when it's free. Now, I must tell you, and I want to be very upfront with you, it, the stay, the resort that you get to select, you, can, you select on which resort you want to stay. The only thing we can't give away is, guess what? Taxes. Room taxes. We can't help you with room taxes. And there's another pesky little fee that they have that I can't stand called resort fees. Some resorts. I mean, just if you've been in Vegas just 10 years ago, there were no resort fees. There's no parking fee. You could just use valet, for God's sakes, for the tip. Remember that? Now they want all our money. And so, anyways, so if you make an appointment, we're going to do the raffle literally right now. And I really do thank you for all that you do. We will be back in the fall to also let you know of our other campaign from the Wish Christmas wish list uh, to the school supplies. And, of course, our favorite, which is the life changer of the month, where the principal is going to select the first recipient to receive that on behalf of this great school. I want to say thank you for your time. If you could do me a huge favor, just fill out the card. And, Marcella, please, if you don't mind, me, she's going to pick them up. And then we're out of your hair. And I just want to say thank you for all that you do. Thank you, sir, for your time today. You, I appreciate it. Thank you.